Hi guys, today I'm talking about insulin and the common phrase given from bodybuilders for several, several decades is you need to spike insulin post-workout um, and their theory goes on something like this. One, you need to prevent bro protein breakdown immediately after training. Two, insulin is seen as a storage hormone, therefore insulin will shuttle say lots of carbohydrates and protein into the muscle um, for recovery. But the reality is you need to realise it's not just carbohydrates that's insulinogenic. Protein is also based, very insulinogenic. So if you were to have a protein containing meal, say whey protein after your training, it's going to be a sufficient insulin spike from that. Added to that, if you were to have a pre-exercise meal kind of within one to two hours of training, um, insulin levels are still going to be elevated throughout the workout and then for several hours after the workout. So that's two big considerations there. And I'm going to link a, a study in the description as tips and seam. I can't remember the exact date and I'll, I'll find it for you. I think it was 6 grams of whey protein and 35 grams of sucrose consumed 1-2 to two hours before training showed that 4 hours after training insulin levels were still well above fasting levels. Um, so I'll link that in the description. So the second thing added to that, like I said, protein is also very insulinogenic. So therefore it then comes down to hitting your total carbohydrate allotment before the end of the day. Um, and the type of carbohydrate is not as important as you first think, but it depends on the context. So for example, I've discussed this in another video, if you're training again within the same day within an eight hour period, some high glycemic carbohydrates would be more beneficial because speed of glycogen resynthesis is important in that situation. However, if you're training the following day, say 24 hours away at least, the type of carbohydrate, um, low glycemic, high glycemic, it doesn't really matter post-training. Um, because at the 24 hour mark, regardless of the type of carbohydrates, glycogen resynthesis is going to be the same. I've actually got another study to link at the bottom as well, comparing kind of two different types of carbohydrates post-workout um, Glycogen resynthesis was exactly the same at the 24 hour mark. So just to conclude and clarify, okay, so insulin, because of a pre-exercise meal, it's not going to be needed to be spiked again post-workout with lots of kind of high glycemic carbohydrates. Two, protein is also very insulinogenic, so therefore if you just have a protein containing meal afterwards, that would still be sufficient to spike insulin. So I hope you found this useful, hopefully it wasn't too complicated. Um, it just kind of clarifies the point where people are trying to throw loads of dextrose in their way and whey protein shape post work. It's just really not necessary. Um, but added to that, if your preference is to consume that post training, that's absolutely fine. As, as long as you realise it's kind of not necessary, it's more to do with the total carb allotment hit towards your base, total macronutrient target. Um, so I hope you found that useful. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a good day. Thank you very much.